We are joined in studio, and I thought there were lights blinking, so I don't have a call I have to take, right? No. Okay, good. No. All right, got it. So we are now joined in studio by another wonderful friend representing an organization that has been changing things and changing the equation for people in need in Chattanooga for 100 years. Thank you, Max. That was That's perfectly true. clear. We didn't even, Nicole, we didn't even rehearse that. That's, That's nice. our can studio audience <laughs> We didn't even rehearse that. Yes, the United Way of Greater Chattanooga. So I am thrilled to be joined in studio by Nicole Patrick. Natalie right? Patrick. I'm sorry, Natalie Patrick. Oh, oh you're fine. <laughs> Natalie, I'm so sorry. I was so concentrating on spelling your last name right. Oh, Fred Muffin. Natalie, thank you. So we. So tell us, please, about... United Way about what's going on right now with this big push you all are doing to work on to add community projects. Yeah, absolutely. So United Way is celebrating a big birthday this September, uh, 100 years, which is awesome. We're very excited about that. Um, and to celebrate, we are doing two days of give back volunteer opportunities. We're calling those our impact days. So September 16th and 17th, we are asking for folks currently to send us projects that um, we can send out volunteers to support them. Um, and we are looking at having, having thousands of volunteers participate in this event. So this is going to be a very massive um, citywide event for everyone to participate in. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah. So it's going to happen September 16th and 17th, but right now you're recruiting groups to who have projects they want to they want to add to it that they want to be considered. Yes, absolutely. So what kind of projects are you looking for? What kind of projects have you done in the past? Yeah, so in the past we have worked with local schools where we've gone in and painted classrooms. Um, assisted teachers with like minor building projects, putting things together, outdoor beautification um, for uh, recreational centers, um, gardening, things like that. Uh, pretty much anything you could think of that could involve just the community um, giving back is a great option as a project. So we're asking folks to be creative in Fine. this as well um, and to kind of think outside the box of um, what what they would love to see happen in, in the community. Yeah. So it can be so it can be something like a school, if a school has a playground that they they don't have the capacity to make better, but they want to make better. Absolutely. They can they can list their project with you and then you'll help recruit the volunteers to come and make that dream a reality. Yes. Oh gosh, that's so cool. Yeah, we're we're really excited about this. We really do think this is going to be a great two days. And we also really believe this is going to be an ongoing opportunity for the community to get involved. Well, you know, I mean, gosh, that just that is what you guys are all about. United Way. All right, so think a minute. 1922. 1922. Can you imagine how different Chattanooga was? Oh, yes. <laughs> so in 1922, the James Building that's on Broad Street was the tallest building in the city. Do you know that, wow. Max? I was only 14. I don't remember that. <laughs> <laughs> Bless his heart. <laughs> in, so in 1922, I mean, the, char the James Building, it's not... It's only, I don't know how many stories it is, seven or eight. I mean, it's not a big building. It was a skyscraper. That building was like setting people agog because it was so tall. And you look at the buildings around it now, and it's like, what a microcosm for how Chattanooga mm -hmm. has changed. Yes. Right? In 1922, we had streetcars. In 1922, Chattanooga was still just on the, on the cusp of finishing with all those recurring floods. And there were people in, we had terrible need. And these people who were city leaders came together and said, we got to help. Yep. Just like Angelica's, Angelica said her, her group has come together. There's a problem and we have the capacity. So we're going to be the people who stand up to help. And it really is powerful how a small group of people came together September 11th, 1922, yep. 
And those those family names, Macaulay, Probasco, um, oh, my gosh, those streets, those names are still names of people who are helping today. Absolutely, yes. Selflessly giving to make life easier for their neighbors. Mm-hmm. It really is something. And some of the organizations that y'all have funded are are organizations that were were just getting started then and are now the 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 matriarchal the the organizations that we look to for leadership mm-hmm. in being change making mm-hmm. in service. Yeah. It really is neat. It is. Yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> it is. Well, and, and kudos for that. I mean, it takes work to do to organize that kind of people. You all, how how many how many volunteers do you suppose come through United Way related projects oh, in a given year? Um, thousands, because we have um, that our online website called um, I Help Chattanooga, which is where we funnel all of our volunteers through there so a lot of our nonprofit partners post their volunteer opportunities on that website Um, and so I would say thousands of folks come through just solely that website alone Wow Um, and then you think about the variety of volunteers that we have with our community investment team um, with our Tocqueville Society Um, so it just it varies so I would say yeah definitely thousands of volunteers and um, all kind of in a variety of aspects of supporting United Way. So, well, and supporting United Way is supporting the community Absolutely. and supporting the, all the, the people in the community yes. who are in need. So that's one of the things, one of the sort of, I guess, I'm not sure if holistic is the right word, but organically grown mm-hmm. things that I find so fascinating about United Way. So if you need help, you can go to United Way. If you can help, you can go to United Absolutely. Way. Absolutely, yes. If you know somebody who needs help and you're not sure what to do to help them, you can go to United Absolutely. Way. Absolutely. If you work for a vol- or volunteer for an organization and you all are motivated to service, you can find ways. Yep. I mean, it just, it really is neat how it is all encompassing it that is. way. So tell us, please, um, what's your, your, your favorite web link where people can go for all the best stuff? Yeah, absolutely. So to find out more or to submit a project for oh, yeah. um, our 100th year anniversary, you can do that on our website at unitedwaycha.org. Um, and you can click on the tab for Get Involved and then click on that volunteer section and it will take you right to that information. And it's easy to be a volunteer, and it's a lot of fun. Yes. I mean, the vol- I've, I've looked at, and actually, okay, wait a minute, I had to think about it for a second. So I remember when I was looking up things, because I was fascinated by this idea mm-hmm. of that people could volunteer for so many different projects. Mm-hmm. I, I entered my name, and I want to think it was almost 20,000 people. Yes. In the greater Chattanooga area who have listed themselves as volunteers. Yes. Isn't that neat? It is. So we talk about the Chattanooga way. We talk about ch- the, the Chattanooga spirit. Mm-hmm. And so if you're thinking about, we have, you know, maybe 200,000 people in the city area, 20,000 who have volunteered and listed their names so that they can be on call when we need help. Yep. That's pretty powerful it stuff. Is. And is. what a legacy. Yes. Neat. So now if I am, if I'm just a regular, just a walking around human in my neighborhood, and I see something that that, that could be a better place, yeah, or something that something that could be improved. But I'm not a part of an organization. Sure. Then how can I submit a project like that? Can I still? Yes, absolutely. You are more than welcome to submit it through the same process of going onto our website, um, going to get involved volunteer and then you'll see a spot there that has um, project submission forms and they are more than welcome to do that cool yeah and so then on the other hand of things if I am in a book club or a knitting group or a group of a group of my favorite humans (laughs) and we don't know what we want to do but we know we want to do something we can go there too and you can match us up absolutely yes they even better than a dating service. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> it works for everybody. Right. Win-win for everybody, and especially a win-win for Chattanooga. Yes. 
really cool. So what are some of the projects that you've worked on that, um, that have resonated with you? Oh, goodness. Um, I would say one that has stood out from last year was um, at Reflection Writing. Um, and we had a company called CBL go out there to mm -hmm. support them. Um, and they do, they were doing a lot of outdoor beautification and helping them there. And they worked on a project that had been sitting dormant for about five years because they just didn't have enough hands to help. Right. Um, and so you just realize the impact that you have in just one day um, to complete a project that was in the waiting for over five years. So it really just brought kind of like full circle the understanding of how impactful something like this can be for an organization, but then also for the folks who are volunteering and participating, right? So um, that's just one of many stories of impact. That's so neat. Yeah. And I didn't even, so we didn't even rehearse this. No, we didn't. We didn't even <laughs> rehearse this. And Reflection Writing, uh, Nature Center and Arboretum, happened to be my next guest. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> In the 1130 hour. That's amazing. I know, right? Great segue. <laughs> See, great segue. And another great reflection on the Chattanooga and its connectivity. Absolutely. And how it all, it all circles back. Yes. Uh, thank you so much for joining me, and thank you for the work that you're doing with United Way. Thank you for having me. Well, you know, United Way has been has been that that, and and I talked about how Dennis and Dennis and Victoria were 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 very modest. Yes, United Way, y'all are very modest. Y'all have been helping save lives mm -hmm. for a hundred years. Yeah. I mean, gosh, when people are are at their are at their most frightened and at their most vulnerable, United Way has been a place to go for a hundred years. And the organizations who are who are led by people who are just passionately, desperately wanting to help, mm -hmm. their their missions are 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 fostered and are propelled by the support that United Way provides. Absolutely. Really is cool. Um, Maybelle Hurley was just one of Chattanooga's icons. And I am, am beyond grateful that I had the opportunity to get to know her and to learn from her. And she was our, she was our first female councilwoman, mm -hmm. city councilwoman. And she was the first woman to be, to be a chair of United Way. She was, she and Ruth Holmberg joined the United Way board um, as, as one of the first rotation of, of women leaders. And she just was change making. And it is so powerful what you guys do. Thank you. Well, thank you. And thank you for spending some time with me. We oh he's making that he's making that, that face. So that's the I'm breaking the baby. That's the Jennifer. <laughs> Stop talking. So time for us to go to a break. And when we come back we'll finish up with United Way and we'll get started in a conversation with reflection writing. If you heard about it at lunch, we were talking about it last week. Ahead of the conversation curve, this is WGOW-FM 102.3, The Talk Monster. Good Monday morning, guys. It's uh, Brad Geese of the Chattanooga Men's Clinic. Find them, 1206 Point Center Drive, Suite 210. Get a hold of them at 423-402-9720. Hard enough dragging yourself out of bed on a Monday morning under regular circumstances? If you happen to be suffering from low testosterone and 25% of men 30 and older are, getting out of bed on a Monday morning could be even harder. Struggling with fatigue, decreased energy, even muscle loss and depression. Finding out whether you have a condition of low testosterone is not hard and it's not even expensive. A medical visit in this day and age under $100, almost unheard of. It's $99 for testosterone and a PSA test. Fast, easy. Now, there you are in the midst of a group of men's health experts, men's medical providers. They'll help find you a treatment that works best for you personally. You can start re-enjoying your life. It's like a garage that does everything for your car. A full-service approach to men's health in one place. Your health has never been more important. We always put our health in the back burner. Don't look back and say, I wish I would have taken care of my health sooner. Go to ChattanoogaMensClinic.com. Get started today or call them 423-402-9720. 
want. Right now is one of the best times in history to unlock the equity in your home. Listen up, y'all. I'm Ben Phillips with Home Rate Mortgage. 805-9100. 805-9100. And I'm talking to Toby from Chattanooga. What are your house appraised for? Five and a quarter. Excuse me? It appraised for 525. And you, you thought it was going to come in at 250? They were saying they needed it to appraise at 250 in order to make everything happen. Okay. We, we, we knew it was going to be over that, but had no idea it was going to be double what we thought it was going to be. What advice do you have for someone out there listening right now? If they have a financial situation or if they have some goals to get out of debt? Right now in this market, so you probably have more equity than you even realize that you have. And it absolutely makes no sense not to give you guys a call just to find out where you sit. I was a non-believer going in, but that is 1,000% changed. Find out how much equity you have in your home to pay off credit cards or make home improvements. Home Rate Mortgage, 805-9100 or homeratemortgage.com. With PatriotSoftware.com, accounting and payroll, keep your time and money. Oh, 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 oh. Mike Cappell here, serial entrepreneur. I started my first business in the basement of a factory over 30 years ago. We had no heat and no air conditioning. Instead of customers, our office visitors were rats, birds, flies, and snakes. Our office flooded often, and we used blankets as our office walls. We were broke and needed help. That's why I created Patriot Software, to help small business owners with simple payroll for 1 to 100 employees. And if you need help, we will help you for free. Go to PatriotSoftware.com. Use promo code RADIO and get two months of payroll processing free. That's PatriotSoftware.com. With PatriotSoftware.com, accounting and payroll, keep your time and money. From the Mermaid Mattress Weather Center. Save $300 on premium Tempur-Pedic Lux mattresses at any of our 11 convenient Mermaid Mattress locations. Your better sleep starts here. Sunshine this afternoon with a high of 62 degrees. Partly cloudy tonight going down to 45. Sunshine tomorrow with a high of 75. Rain Wednesday night and Thursday coming this way. Right now, sunshine 48 degrees at the Talk Monster. Millions of opinions, and some of them aren't even created by bots. We separate fact from, you know, Brian, JR, and me, Kevin West. We do mornings at Talk 102.3. <laughs> Good morning. Happy Monday and welcome back. My name is Jennifer Crutchfield and I am here sitting in or rather standing in for Brad Giza on Talk Radio 102.3 WGOW.com. Don't forget, you can listen on air or online. You can call in. You can even text. You can text us at 267-102.3. Now, actually, you know what? I said that. I should have not said that because I don't have my glasses on, so if somebody texts and I'm never going to know. I can read it in here for you. Oh, bless him. I have my glasses. (laughs) And I am just honored to have been here today filling in and really super grateful for our amazing lineup of guests. What a neat show it's been, huh? It has been, yes. Gosh, (laughs) And I love how it all connects. I mean, you United Way connects to what 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 Ukraine is, how it's happening with it just all connects. Yeah. And we have reflection writing coming up soon, and reflection writing and United Way connect. Do boy, oh boy! She told me to shut up though, <laughs> and then threw me out of my studio. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like being at home, Jennifer. <laughs> <laughs> no, if it was like being at home, I'd have told you to do the dishes, too. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Well, no, I don't do dishes. <laughs> well, that's your problem. <laughs> In my house, if you don't do dishes, that means you're not eating food. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, no, actually, I do dishes. I do. I'm do just dishes. teasing, Max. I know you are a, you are a great husband, well, and I know what a wonderful caregiver husband that you are, so... Did my wife make you Kudos excited? to you. No, she didn't. But I I know you've been you've been putting in a lot of extra husband duty. Yeah, oh yeah. And kudos to you and all the husbands out I there. I got a sweetie for a wife, but I don't want her to know that. Well, I'll 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 keep your secret okay. for now. All right. <laughs> well, and so thank you again. So United Way, we've been talking about all of the amazing things that are happening. Yes. 
And you were sharing with us some of the ways that as we lead up to September, that people, whether they're people, organizations, volunteer groups, can come in and can ha- can can organize opportunities. Yes. So tell us again, please, how people can register and what kinds of things you're looking for. Yeah, absolutely. So they can submit a project on our website, unitedwaycha.org. Um, and if they go to the tab called Get Involved, there'll be a section there for volunteer and um, they'll scroll down and they'll find the information there. And you'll be able to submit a project. It'll have details of what we're looking for, um, how many volunteers we're asking for, and we're asking for a minimum of 25 volunteers because we really do want this to be um, an opportunity for as many people to get involved. Um, And the types of uh, projects, like I said, could vary anything from outdoor beautification to even serving um, folks who are experiencing homelessness. So feeding, um, preparing meals, and sending them out on those either of those two days would be amazing. Um, oh, ooh, okay. Me. So, like, people who wanted to continue honoring honoring Shannon's legacy exactly. could put together a project proposal, send it to you guys to get a group of them together and do a a, a survey. Absolutely. I see. All right. See, that's just, just so cool. All of the different ways that people can help or be helped. Yes, most definitely. Well, thank you, and thank you again for what you do and for what your organization does. Thank you so much for having me. You've been wonderful. I, and you see, I told you it would be easy, right? <laughs> yes, it was. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I mean, Natalie, you're passionate about what you do. Thank when you. you're passionate about what you do, it's easy to talk about it. It's very true. Yeah, and celebrate it.